<laughs> Yo, welcome to the BTE Podcast. It's your boy Snacks. Yes, sir. It's your boy Checkmate. Assalamu alaikum to all, man. Welcome. Man, bro, it's, it's been it's been a minute, gang. It's been a long time, brother. A long time coming, but not only that, man, this is something that we've been thinking about since way back. 07, 09. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's something that it was on. It was on the hearts. It was just something that it wasn't no New Year's resolution type stuff. It wasn't like we sat down and we was upon the stars. All right, man. Twenty twenty two, we're gonna do X Y Z. It was something that it's been there, and it was like why not? It was just convenient that you know twenty twenty two came around. Right, right. I mean, it's been a, it's been a long progress for both of us. As individuals, getting to where we are today, so I guess this is the perfect timing for this. Uh, most definitely, and what they say, nothing. What's the quote though? Nothing worthwhile is is is. Damn, I know what you're talking about. It, nah, nothing it, worth having is is damn. Ah man. Or no no time is better than the present. Right, most definitely. There we go. So we started off today. Well, the first question that everybody had, I mean, we came out here, you know what I'm saying, all this energy saying BTE, the movement, we done got it on social. If you're not following us on the IG and Twitter, most definitely check the bio and you'll see that. Go follow us and stay up to date and in tune with everything we got. But also, I, also, also, don't forget the TikToks, the Facebooks, the, the, the Reddits, you know, it's going to be a lot of conversation on everything as long as we had a, the right interactions. Most definitely, most definitely. I guess I'll most definitely let it go to you. And what is BTE? What is it, man? And how did it come to be and all that? I mean, it really wasn't even a thought to a week ago what, what BTE, <laughs> BTE was for sure. But you know, it was just it was just something natural, man. I've 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 seen my my guy snacks evolve into a into the man he is today. It's been a lot of long, long late night conversations, early morning conversations. Man. A lot of a lot of talks in the bed, man, laying next to each other, just wanting to, to figure out what life was. But BTE, I guess you could say to me, is is evolving not just the mind but your body. I feel like your body is a rep- representation of your mind. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. Run evolving. That Run that bad. They ain't really hear you. Oh, yeah, on that. <laughs> they ain't really hear you on that. BT, for for the people that didn't hear me, man, BTE is is is. It's an evolution with the mind and the body, you know. Yeah. So you have to, you have to let your body reflect what your mind is because you can't be 300 pounds and 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 say you're you're healthy and active. It's not. It doesn't reflect. You it's can't. It. You can't say you 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 you're confident in yourself, but walk around with and, and, and look as a weak man or a weak woman. It doesn't work. Yeah, the body and everything. Body posture. The the energy you give off, all that correlates to just your life and, and the reflection of what's happening on the inside. Most definitely. You know, and we're not just saying if you have the best body at all, you know, you're just the strongest. It, your mental shows a whole lot more than what the out, outer appearance is. A lot of people try to cover up, you know what I'm saying? Let me, right. go, man, let me go get the abs, you know what I'm saying? Like, let me go Let me go get this lipo. But yet, yeah, it'll still show, you feel me, through your actions. Mm-hmm. Like the... the, the, the Everything ties into one. This vehicle that we call a body is is simply a representation of everything that we that we perceive it to be. But but also evolution is it, it starts with the people around you. You can't have mm. drug dealers and killers around you and say that you you're a scholar. It doesn't it doesn't work because mm. you're you're eventually gonna fall into the same path as as the people around you. But but let me lob it to you. What is what does BTE mean to you per se? BTE. Is more than just a movement. Cause when we first made it, and when we were doing this, the Instagram, the Twitter, and all that, you know, and then I was sending it to people. I'm like, hey, yo, can y'all follow? You know, stay up to date. We're trying to get something done. Right. And they will always say me, what is it? Well, what does BTE stand for? So, you know, basic stuff is being the evolution. Right. Okay. When well, I said, what, well, what is it about? Like, what is being the evolution? And to me, really, being the evolution, it starts with yourself. Like, there's nothing. A lot of things in this world we try to control that has no control over. Right. You know what I'm saying? Except for the most high that, that created it. But a lot of people want to control how this person acts, how they talk, how they dress, how right. they walk. And that's the thing you can't control. The only thing you can control is yourself. Right. And what you do and how you react to certain situations. So when you try to evolve and you're trying to do something, it's 
it's deeper than just trying to, I right, boom. I, I said I want to evolve in my health, right? I remember I was back in the old days, I was a fat kid, got teased and all that. Yep. So I had to evolve. It, it wasn't like I had to evolve because of somebody else. It was myself, it was my own personal health I had to evolve. I wanted to evolve my relationship with, with my friends and my family. Right. So I had to go take those actions to, to talk to them and say, hey man, this is this is how I'm feeling. This is, this is what it is, this is what it's not. And those are the only things I really can involve. BTE, the the movement is really trying to push people past what they believe. It's, we are so we're capable of so much more than what we imagine. Right. I, it, we set limitations on ourselves because of other people. I, I, I live by this quote, and people probably have heard me say it before. A lot of people put their limitations on you. Right. So I never allow somebody else, damn sure not another man. To pay the limitations on me. Most definitely. I'm not gonna let you tell me, ah oh, man, I couldn't go D1 and I was and I was six foot, so how you gonna go D1 and you you five nine, five eight? Yeah, but that's not my limitation. Right. You're not gonna tell me I can't pass this test because it was hard for you and you ain't passed it. I don't mm-hmm. care if you were the valedictorian in your school. I don't care. Like you're not gonna tell me what I can't. A lot of people want to put their limitations upon you. So I would say evolving is pushing past your limits. That's like from a little anime I, I, I watched the Black Clover, you know, and it, one of the sayings they always had to push past your limits. Right. And I take that and I put it toward my life because everything I do, I push my own limit. The prime example is me playing you in basketball. I've right. lost more times than I can count. Right. But I've always tried to push past that. Like, okay, if the first time I play, I may not have scored a single point. The next time I play, I want to score at least one. After that, next time I want to score at least two, then three. And then four, and then keep going, keep going. So eventually, I say, okay, now I want to beat you. Right. And then after I beat you, now I want to continually do that. I want to just have a on day, or you have an off day. Right. You know? So that's really BTE, being evolution, all that is really pushing past your limits and helping you. I'm not gonna say forcing; it's really helping you and you taking that action to be the person you're meant to be in right. this life. Not no. Not no real, just simpleton. I say that a right. bot. You're you're way more than what you believe, and that's what BTE to me it really means. Being the evolution is starting with yourself, and then not only that, seeing the evolution and pitting towards the next generation. Right. That's really it's mandatory. Because the right now, the, a lot of the things I know we spoke about off the off the, all the time and on the phone, we don't spoke about it, and it was like, what we want to do for the next generation. A lot of things we have planned or that we want to see, we probably won't see in our lifetime. Right. But our kids or our grandkids or our great grandkids, they may see the change that we try to do. We have to teach knowledge like we treat money. You feel me? If we want generational wealth, it starts with knowledge first. It's not money because you can give anybody money and do it. What, what can they do with it without the knowledge? So, with that being said, evolution isn't just something you do once, evolution is, a, is a every everyday thing you can never stop evolving because once you stop evolving you're no longer evolving mm. you're, you're stagnant and, 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 and your evolution isn't stagnant this world can never stop evolving so why, why should we so what do you I, I say this because I got this question before well people think it's hard to evolve and change right. you know, let's not well let's not say people never use the word evolve for me so let me not say that here they say it's hard for me to change or it's hard for me to get out of this habit. I, don't, right. I was like this because my pops was this, my mom was this, or I grew up in this environment. So how can we or how, or what's your best, your best, what's I'm looking for, advice for them to get past that, per se, I can't evolve or it's hard for me to evolve in the environment that I'm in. See, I mean, a lot of people say you shouldn't be along with your thoughts, but I think that's where it starts. If you sit down, and it don't have to be a dark room, nothing. It's just you sit down somewhere. It can be around a bunch of people. You sit down and just think, like, what do you want from life? What do you feel that you are? You don't determine what you are based off of what other people are. Take take time away from socials. We both done that. <laughs> what? You know, it's, it's, it's healthy for it's healthy for the body. It's healthy for the mind. It's healthy for your soul because you, you 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 overstimulate your mind and you start to think you you're something that you're not. Uh, online personality is not the same person in, in, in the flesh. I, I done heard another quote. I, one thing about me, if y'all don't know now, one thing you most definitely will, I'm a big quote guy. Anything that I, I can't
catch. I'm like, I gotta write that down. You see it before. So one of them, it was trying to really get going, and they were trying to really tell you. And I lost my train of thought. Keep it going now. But what do you, okay in the in the in the comments or or DM us on Facebook, DM BTE on Facebook. Oh, we forgot. Um, at Facebook, I mean not. Oh, I said Facebook. Multiple times, <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, not nah, you can you can you can write in the comments or or DM us on Instagram, BTE on Instagram at BTE underscore movement. Uh, I'm at slurs on Instagram at S L U U U three U's R G E. Oh, on my on my IG is B R O A D S N A and two X's broad snacks. Get at me on Snap, Nike All Pro 21. Get at me on Twitter, R underscore Broadnax, B R O A D N A X 16. All them different things. If you want to run it back, go ahead so y'all can get all of that. Most importantly, man, we're, 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 we're going to start using this Clubhouse app. I mean, hopefully we can we can consistently be on there, but Clubhouse, um, y'all can search up Being the Evolution. It's a club on Clubhouse. We'll, we'll be on there with anybody who wants to talk, really. It's no closed discussion. It's not us talking and you listening. For me, we want to learn from everybody. Hey, you can get a nugget from, from anybody and everybody. Man, so. we, when we were walking the other day and the cats, you feel me? When one cat came, uh, a bunch of them came. <laughs> you feel me? I want, you feel me? One person coming, I want a thousand people to come and a million people to come because we, we're, we're forever seeking knowledge. Man, it's one thing when I was watching, I was in school, we were reading a story about a spider. And you saying gain a nugget from everything. And when you're able to do that, it was something more of the aspect of the spider was making a well. Right. And they was and we was in the class, we were trying to discuss, well, what is the spider really doing? I don't have you know, so I'm thinking deeper about it. I'm not just thinking, all right, well, the spider making a well before we want to eat and survive. I'm really thinking like what can you gain from a spider making a well? Right. A spider made the web so it can know and understand its surrounding. And that goes with what we said in the very beginning is understanding your surroundings. You know, a lot of people want to say, oh, I'm not this person, I'm not that person, or I can hang out with, I can hang out with, with the example, I can hang out with drug dealers and killers and I don't have to be them. I can be my own self, which is most definitely true. You are your own person. So if you have the strength, but eventually their tendencies are going to rub off. Regardless of how, or how much you say you're not, their tendencies right. are going to rub off because that's what you're around. So you may pick up a good habit, but you also may pick up some, some a bad habit. And then, regardless of how this world works, it really gets like that, where people don't even care who you are. People care about the image you present. So if, if you sitting there, and I'm hanging around uh, drug dealers, I'm not rapists, I'm rappers, I'm like all these people, it's like, they're going to start viewing me like, oh, you cool with that? Right. Are you okay with that? This is who you are. And it's always the negative outweighs the positives. You can do a thousand positives, one negative, it's going to outweigh everything just because it's something more for people to talk about. What was it? It was um, a teacher when they wrote down, she was doing math problems. Right. And it was like nine times one, nine times two, all the way to you got 10. Right. And she messed up nine times three, think it's like 24. Right. And then uh, the student said, teacher, you messed up on nine times three. But they didn't acknowledge that she got all the other nine of them correct. Right. So they only pointed out that flaw. And that's what human nature naturally do. We want to point out the flaws in each other, and that's one thing. I don't think we really, I don't think we really spoke on it enough. Was this? This isn't just for us. Right. This is for everybody. We want people to be able to come and speak their mind, speak freely, and, and speak um, how they truly feel, not the image they want to present, not uh, a mask. You know, it's something deeper than all that. And when I and when I thought about this podcast and we was going about it, I was like, man, I really do want something that people can look at from all age group, all ethnicities, and say, man, bro, this is this is something I can get behind. It's something that I can do. It's something that I like the message. I, I like what they're doing. And they want to pre- present it and get going. Because right. once that get going, I know it's gonna be crazy. Because then people gonna start feeling. We gave people the unconscious right to express themselves and shine bright on their own. So the f- I just want to let this be known. I can only speak for me, but I'm pretty sure we both can agree on this. I'm not a master of life. I'm simply a student of life speaking to another student of life across the table from me. And hopefully other students are like a, a 
students of life are listening, you know? So it's not me trying to, or us trying to come come across as, as we know everything that life holds because it's definitely not so. We, we, we only touch the surface. Yeah. We can only speak about what we have, we have been through and what we have seen through trial and error. So for, for anybody that does, that does feel that they can help us improve on anything, please let us know. Mm. Cause I, I definitely would like to improve on Man. as many things as life in life as, as possible. Man, <laughs> I when I I guess one thing I, I literally just thought about it. Another thing I would ask if you can choose, if you have to pick out one thing for the day that you could say you evolved on, because it's easy for us to sit here and say what you have to do. Right. But it always we go back and it starts with us. So what's one thing you can say or I mean, anything you want to share? that you say, man, I evolved from here to here. I mean, a common thing with me, anybody can tell you is, is me being a father. I love being a father. So I feel like I evolve every hour of the day in being a father. It's, it's something that you can't really explain. It's just, it's, it's, it's trial and error, especially because I'm, I'm a father of one. So I have to understand that certain things I do is, 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 is going to positively, positively and negatively affect her. So, I mean, evolving as, as a father helps me evolve as a man. Mm. Me evolving as a man helps me evolve as a human. So, I can't really point out one thing because I guess it all pertains and, and, and connects and, to and, one, and. you know? So, I mean, but but if I can just speak about one thing as being a father, I, patience. You have to, un, a, a two-year-old is goes from A to Z in half a second all the time. <laughs> so, you have to learn patience. You got to understand that, that, that. That's just what humans are. Humans are, are simply patient. Mm. You can't rush a human to do anything. You can't rush a human to be anything. Mm. You just have to sit there, watch, understand, teach, and, and also learn. Mm. What about you? What do you think you evolved in or, or on on a day-to-day? The one thing I evolved true, truthfully, and this is a daily thing, is evolving with my emotions. Right. With when my emotions, when I was a young guy, I always had a problem with them. I had a problem with expressing them, and I had a problem with accepting them. Right. That was really, it, it wasn't just expressing, it was really accepting, because I would feel like I was, my emotion was invalid. Right. I feel like I shouldn't be sad at this, or I shouldn't be mad at this, or I shouldn't be happy at this. I always felt like my emotions weren't true. So if I would see something that, that I think is funny, mm-hmm. I wouldn't laugh. Because I see the next person, I'm like, they're not laughing. So, right. do I have the right to laugh? Is, is this supposed to be funny? Or I would see something, I'm like, but that made me upset. Yeah. Or, or somebody would do something, I'm, like, I'm upset, but everybody else is laughing. So, I say, am I taking this personally? Am I supposed to be right. laughing? So, every single day with my emotions, I, I build upon them. And I, I work on just trying to understand them and express them in, in my way, right. not in the way of somebody else, because that's where I got into, I always wanted to live. That's what it goes back, that's what I wanted to say. People on Instagram or Twitter or anything on social media, you're comparing your normal life to somebody else's highlight reels. Right. And that's really where you fall off at. That's why I take my break from social media, because unintentionally, I was comparing my, my struggles to somebody else's highlight reels. I see somebody else my age, 20, 19, 18, I see him with, I just got me an apartment. Yeah. I just got me a house. Man, stocks going up, real estate going crazy. And I'm like, man, I'm 21. I'm, you know, I'm in debt right now. I'm trying to figure out this life stuff. What is right. really, what's happening? And then I get into that cycle of, man, am I, am I good enough? Yeah. Am, am I doing the right thing? What, where do I make a mistake at? Now I'm starting to question every move I make. And that's going to get me deeper into a hole. So once I took that break, I can say this now. It was probably this is probably my first time right. saying it out there that I took a break. God made it seem like I did it. I always had somebody else, you know. I would say keep the image up for me. God didn't want people to know that's something that I'm working on now. I don't want people to know what right. I'm going through. So when I left social media, some people didn't know I left social media because I had other things going on. And then when I came back, it was almost like, oh, he, he never did leave. Right. But that was something that I had to do. I had to get off. I didn't have nothing on my phone. I didn't have ESPN. Right. Anything that involved the outside world, I didn't. I didn't know. What, what was what was the the lessons or and, and also how did you feel during that time? I'll be honest. The first first two days, I was like, 
it was almost like a detox. Right. It was almost like a person that was to to give you a real vivid image. Imagine somebody that was addicted to crack or heroin, and right. they're shooting up their whole life, and then somebody trying to grab them and say, "Bro, you can't do this." And they put them in a room, and then they start crying, they start banging, they start pleading because they want it again. Right. I was that's the best way I can explain it. I was like, "Bro, what am I gonna do without this social media?" Right. You know, I gotta check my phone. I gotta go look at Snap. Who hit my line? What's happening on Snap? Oh, IG. Cool. Well, what's what's some that I can get off here? Twitter. Dang, what's the news today? Who who doing what? What's the new meme today? And I had my body was craving for it, but then I said, "Bro, it's not it's not needed." Right. And I just sat there a couple of times. I just sat in my room, just staring at a wall. I didn't even turn the TV. I'm just looking like. What am I going to do? And then that goes back to your point where you say sitting with your thoughts. And I sat with my thoughts, man. It was scary. I, it was scary, bro. I was thinking about everything. I was thinking about life. I was thinking about my sisters, my mom, right. pop, kid. I was thinking about everything. I'm like, bro, what am I going to do? And once I sat there and my brain just kept going, kept going, I, I looked and I said, bro, is, is, this, is this okay? And right. Like, what is this I'm supposed to be feeling? What am I supposed to be doing? Actually, what it was, it it wasn't just about feeling. It was like, what well, I'm supposed to do with all this emotion? Right. Like, I'm, I have every single emotion you can name or even think about in the dictionary. And I'm like, well, how am I supposed to, what I'm supposed to do with this? Am I right. supposed to go run outside? You know, I, I caught myself a couple times screaming because there was there's nothing else to do. Right. Like, I, I can't punch the hole in the wall. That's bread I got to come out of my pocket. Oh, definitely. I can't go hit another person. That's assault. Right. <laughs> I'm not gonna hurt my my own self. Yeah. What is there for me to do? I can't play a game. I, I can't break the TV. That's more bread. Like, so the only thing I could do was scream. Right. And just let it out. And it was every emotion. It wasn't anger. It wasn't just sadness. It wasn't happy. It was every emotion I could ever feel. And just sure. Ah. <sighs> so, I and the lesson I learned from that, bro. Honestly, I learned that this world isn't what you really perceive it to be. Right. People are pretending every second of their life because they're scared of who they are or who they are meant to be, I should say. A lot right. of people feel like they they can't be themselves because they want to fit in. As you see it now, you want you have black kids that want to be white. You have white kids that want to be black. You right. have Asians that want to be everything else. You have somebody that want to be somebody. You want to have fat people want to be skinny. Skinny people want to be bigger. People that don't have hair want to have you everywhere. Everybody wants something else. So now you sit there and you're like, what is, what's really happening? So I went out, so when I went out to life with no social media and I'm looking, and I'm like, bro, everybody's pretending. I see it now. I saw everybody pretending. Right. And no matter whatever conversation I had, something about social media came up. Right. Oh, you heard about what's in such? You heard about bro? Nah, bro, I ain't heard it. And I, I was looked at as an alien when when people um, said, oh, let me um, get your snap. I said, I don't have snap. Right. It was like, what? I said, yeah, I'm be on social media. Every time somebody would ask me, it would be a different time. Cause, right. So, first time I said, I was off somebody for two weeks. Girl looked at me stupid. She looked at me like I just said something in a foreign language. Yeah, I feel like a part of evolution is knowing your uniqueness. With social media, we lose that uniqueness because we're connected to everybody at the same time. So we can't be alone with our feelings and our emotions to let ourselves know that they're valid. Because mm. if you don't feel like what you feel is valid, then you're going to look for something else for validation. So it's it's crazy, you know. Now, you know, I done been through what I've been through sitting in jail. And like, that's all you do is, is, is emotion. You're just sitting there with your thoughts. Emotions, you helpless every day. It's like, when am I getting up? You know, when is... When, is, when are the people going to come call me to go to court to, to sit and, and figure out when I'm going to get out? It's emotions that are crazy when you allow them to overrule you. Mm. But it's it's beautiful when you get to know yourself. Yeah. When you sit down and know who you are, it's just like, I'm powerful. I mean something. Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm me and it's never going to change. It- we, I, I say it's a confidence booster. Right. When, when I was on social media, my, I felt my confidence was high. I, I walked with a, a different swagger. Right. I, I call it that. You know, I, I walked like I, I knew what I was. So I, when I was, again, going back to when I was younger, I, I didn't feel good about myself. Right. I didn't think I was a, a handsome man. Now, you, I done been called conceited. 
Right. When I was younger, I would never been called fat. Now I'm being called conceited because I said I love myself. I know I'm good looking. I know. Right. I know what I can do. So when I walk out like that, I, I unconsciously I attracted that. Right. Because then people ever say, oh, I like I like your outfit. Oh, you look nice today. You smell good. Oh, appreciate it. You know, I said I appreciate it. You know, that's what that's another thing I'm working on. Accepting compliments. But I hate it. I hate compliments it. so much, bro. It makes me feel awkward, like strange. When people stare at me, even if it's not bad stares, it makes me feel like I'm out of place. Yeah. And I guess that's from being a black man or because I'm because I just feel like when people look at you, they can see everything you've been through. Mm. And so it's like for me, it's a lot of things that I still hold sacred. Yeah. For this the, the, just because I feel and I know that if certain people know your thoughts or they know how you feel or they know what you've been through, it's automatic judgment. You yeah, know? yeah, I'm about to say. So that. it's just like, man, what do in situations it's like what do you do to not it, it's, it's like you're going back in I feel like I'm going back in evolution in that time. Mm-hmm. It's like everything that I stand for, my morals are compromised because of uh, the, the tiny feeling I feel at that moment. Mm-hmm. So it's it's it's, it's crazy. Because when going back to the accepting the compliments thing, I always felt like, at least as a man, like I ain't never really had compliments like that. Right. You know, or I would think to myself how I know how I think. And I have to understand that not everybody thinks the way I do. But at that time, for those two months all on social media, I was thinking like everybody was thinking like me. Right. So the thoughts that went through my head, I'm like, what if somebody else is thinking like this? Because I always say, if I'm, if I'm doing this, or if I'm thinking about it, what's stopping from the next person thinking about it? Or right. they have thought about it. So I'm like, dang. So like, do they know the truth of me? Like, do they understand what's going through my head? Because everybody said they got skeletons in their closet, which, I mean, you do. If you sit here and say you don't have skeletons in your closet, I'm not calling you a liar, but you're right. not telling the truth. You know, I, I just have to say that because there's some of that, even no matter how close we are. I mean, Unc said it today that, that we, we've been growing up together as a knee hop. Sure. So it's like, this thing that you don't even know right. that I keep, and I'm like, bro, if, and I have a fear that if you was if you was to know this whole this whole friendship, but you feel me go, you right. know what I'm saying? But I know the truth behind it. And I understand that we have a, a bond that that that's different. I can I can say that with wholeheartedly confident. Right. I can understand that I can say anything here, and it would be no judgmental. It's okay. It is what it is. I understand. Let's keep pushing. Other people I, I know. The stuff that I've done, the stuff that I've been through, you look at me, they gonna say, hey, bro. You know, actually, that was the thing in my African American lit class. Right. They were talking about, we were reading the story, but it was like, what if everybody criminal record? Like, what if you was a way that in this world you can look and above somebody's head, you see that criminal record? Right. And he actually was like, how, how would it be? And I said, it would be, it would be hell. Because people would judge you off of that. Right. Because you can have assault over your head right but not the reason mm-hmm. so they probably didn't charge you with assault but you probably would beat up somebody because he didn't he didn't hit your dukes right so you don't have to beat bro up and he the file charge and you now you assault but people would think oh he just came out here beating people you know so it the same way how i use football they say uh numbers don't lie mm-hmm. well they don't tell the full story anyway as a quarterback if you throw a pick but your receiver dropped the ball or tipped the ball in the air. He's perfect pass. He just dropped right. it and it was a pick. That pick is on you. But if everybody watched that game, they say, no, nah, it's not the quarterback, it's on the receiver. Right. Same thing in life. You can have this criminal record, like I said, we use the assault as the example, but you don't know the reason behind right. it. Right. So I feel like if, if you can see the criminal record, if you can see people's past or people's history, is going to be judging, but they would never know the truth. I feel like what you're, when, when, when you say, if, if you can see it over your head, it's kind of like, if you got a criminal record and you you, you you got a background check for a job mm-hmm. or when you're applying for something and us as black people we got to check black knowing that that's going to disqualify us automatically this is the same thing yeah it's just an automatic disqualification you feel me? at least i get in the door you right. feel me? if they don't check that ethnicity box they just see my name they say richard they say oh cool <laughs> name <laughs> you know? and resume that's really all that should matter right. you shouldn't even still have the, the ethnicity box that's it's not productive. It's you going into a prejudice, you know. Even if we should have these things over the phone, like interviews over the phone, don't see a face. You come in first day work. Okay, this is what he looks like. Yeah. Boom. He, he he sounded like he was good. He was qualified for the job. 
why why I had a prejudice? Boom. See the application? Okay, boom, black man. Doom, but we said white man right here. Okay, boom, they come in. White man's dirty, black man's clean, but because he's white, he's he's still more qualified. Hmm. It, it just is is that the was way one, of life is crazy. That was one thing if when we're talking about evolving. Right. I had to I had to evolve when I went to Missouri. Yeah, I mean everybody. I, I would say everybody except a handful of people, you know what I'm saying, you included. Right. People was just like, oh, I don't go you people just tell me don't go to Missouri, racist, it's it's bad, we can't reach you. You know, you're far away from home. You ain't never, you ain't never experienced cold. You ain't never seen snow. This, you know, a lot of people just pointing out the negatives, and I felt like nobody was telling me the positive that could come out of this, out of this experience. So I said, you know what? At first, it was almost out of spite. I can be honest with myself now. Remember what I told you when you asked me? Do what makes me feel happy. Do whatever you feel. I was like, I can't tell you <laughs> what to and not to do because you, you gotta go through that experience yourself. And I remember you was like, well, well, if you had to, feel me, if you had to choose, I'm like, nah, it's not my choice. I mean, it's strictly for you. And I'm happy you did do it, though, because you understood a different part of the world, or not a part of the world, but just a different part of the country than yeah. other people think. It was it was different. And it goes to the evolving part, because I ain't never experienced racism until I got up there. Right. You know, I mean, I got called nigger. I got my picture defaced. I remember that. You was, you was hurt over that. <laughs> I done, I done got fired for being black. I, I, I didn't know how to react to this because right. I thought to myself, I, all I did was give love, respect to everybody. I was smiling every day, shaking everybody's hands, saying, you know, hope you have a blessed day. You feel me? Make sure everybody else is good looking up for somebody else. Give, I give somebody else to put the shirt off my back because I'm not going to get that right back. You know what's crazy? When, was it, I think it was around the same time you went to Missouri, I left and went to Washington. That's crazy, cause I, you know, I mean, obviously I graduated before you and I went did what I did, but it's crazy how we both ventured off around the same time for the better or the worse, you know. Most definitely, and that was cool. A lot of things just happened up there, but it it, it made me see the other world. It helped me right. understand how people are. I have to understand the the, the red flags. I think that's the trend now. Right. You feel me? The red flag. I have to see people's red flag and say, man. Okay, uh, now I know, you know, if I if I see X Y Z, right, I gotta you know move accordingly. And if I if I see this, okay, I know who you are. I kind of get a, a good reference point. I don't just say I know who you are, but I over the time of me being there for two years, I, I the tendencies kind of matched up. Right, like, these amount of people act this way, and if you're this type of people, you act this way. So now that I understand that, I go into my life and I keep it going. But Missouri taught me so much more than all that. I, I didn't experience everything. It's stuff that, if I'm being completely honest, I done, I done had females attempt, most definitely. They have, I had females up there that attempted to build a case against me. Not even just me. I'm not going to just say, like I said, I never said I'm an anomaly. Because right. I had a teammate and some other random people up there that was that was black. And that and got tried to get set up. Right. Some, and I was, some of them weren't blessed as I was to... You know, get out of that and say, all right, I don't have no record or nothing. But I'd have seen it, you know, and it's tough because I felt helpless right. that nobody would believe me. But I can I can say that I got sexually molested up there, but how many people believe that a girl molested me? Right. But I was. Like, that's like a, a, a true statement. But it's funny because, like, well, you see me, it's like, right, well, who, who would do that? Or, right. or oh, you like it, you know. Man, I didn't want nothing to do with this girl. You feel me? And I didn't just got what I don't want nothing to do. But I knew the situation I was in. If I was to do anything else, if I didn't play my card correctly, she was gonna flip the role. I was drunk and he took advantage. Now, now look at me. Now it's my word against hers. Right. And I was just in a tough situation, so I had to just swallow that and, and keep it pushing. Like, all right, I guess that's just something that happens up here. Right. But that's not okay. At but, all. But that's just some. That's the world we live in. Right. So I. It, that's just one of the few things uh, a girl done tried to do it again and I'm like man that was really what made me stop going out right honestly and I used to go out every every time I was a freshman once that happened gang I done, I done stopped going out I said I can't even hang around people no more because even the dudes I was with they didn't have the best interest in me right. I, I would thought they well they intended is that like why didn't y'all you feel me do something else why couldn't y'all say man that ain't, that ain't what's up or you feel me? Nobody. Right. I was like, man, am I alone on this? You feel 
me. Some people were laughing about it. I mean, now I can joke about it because I'd have made it out, but just because I joke about it, I mean, it, yeah, it, that shit's still not okay. <laughs> nowhere near oh. okay. Oh. Yeah, I was just, that's one thing, though, bro. I can really say that I had to really understand. And I know my people, they, they going to, they told me about it. They warned me about it. Right. But actually experiencing it. I get, I get that goes back to what we said when we was younger, you know, and how you said before I left, I got to experience some things. Right. I, I got to experience that. You couldn't tell me that. Everybody told me all of it. I was, so the thing they told me was true. Right. But me actually experiencing it, that's a whole different level when you actually in there. Right. I guess, I guess it's one thing to say you don't want to go to jail, but actually being there is, is a whole different. You definitely know you don't want to be in jail either. <laughs> Definitely, that's not at all. That shit, that's as most helpless as you can get. If you ever feel helpless, nigga, imagine how somebody in jail feels. You got to eat on somebody's time, sleep on somebody's time, shower on somebody's time. Sometimes you can use a restroom on somebody's time. It's just, yeah, man, that's 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 as worse as it gets, I think, other than death. Mm-hmm. But I feel like even death, if it's peaceful, how people say it is. Or how how we've been taught to believe that's better than jail. So, but yeah, man. So what's what? The question is, how do you? Well, the question I have to everybody, but since you're in front of me, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about it. Is how do you try to evolve? And it's always positive because you can negatively evolve too. Yeah. Okay. But but how do you how do you think that you can positive? To positively evolve and not allow the negativity to, to take over. The first thing that popped in my head when you when I asked the question is you have to you have to ask yourself and understand what is negative and positive. I mean I told you before I, the whole idea and concept of right, wrong, good, bad is all societal based in preferences. Right. You know? I agree, I agree. So if we're saying the negative aspect, you well, first thing you have to do is sit with yourself and ask yourself, what are your moral, what are your principles, what do you consider good, what do you consider bad, what do you probably, consider right? That's right. probably a better question is, is, is how do you evolve and it doesn't compromise your, your morals? Stay true to you. That's, that's the, the realest stuff. The simple, short, sweet is stay true to you. If, if, you're, if you say your moral is I would never hit a woman, Right. That's your principle. You stand on that. That means regardless of what a woman do, you don't hit her. You you stand on that right. because that's like you're more of your principle. You say hitting a woman is wrong, then you don't compromise that for nothing. You you have to walk away. You feel me? If, if, if it's simply it presents itself, and that and that's the way you evolve. So one way I evolved personally, I told myself that I wanted to I wanted to express myself more. Right. I wanted to be more open. Like when people ask, are you an introvert, extrovert? I say both. Right. You know, so I, I wanted to be more of an extrovert to talk to people because I realized I had a gift to. I call myself a chameleon. I could go fit into anywhere. If I'm in a room full of billionaires, you wouldn't guess I, I wasn't a billionaire. If I'm in a room full of dope dealers, you you wouldn't you, right. know, you wouldn't guess who what I was. So I say that because now once I get into that part, it's more of a how you say like now I I understand myself. And understand what I will and won't do. Right. So now, now that I have that picture, that foundation there, everything else I go off of it. So if, if anything compromises, or if I think, so boom, going back to the thing I said, no, don't hit women. Right. So if I say I would never hit a woman, okay, that's my moral, my principle. I would never do anything to put myself in that situation. Right. So if I know this girl is abusive or she has a way of words, and I know I have a hot temper, I'm not gonna put my, I'm not gonna talk to this girl. Cause that's gonna put me in a situation where I gotta do something else, and that's gonna mess up my morals and my principles. Right. So it's really understood. And so it goes back to you reflecting who you are. It all starts with you. That's the purpose of this podcast. The purpose of the life is understanding who you are and going off of that. Right. Cause if I sit here and try to compare myself to you or try to be you, I'm gonna fail every time. Cause I'm not you. I'm not you. You're not me. Right. They're not us. We're not them. So at that point, once you understand yourself. You, that's where it started. I'm not. I'm gonna keep repeating myself. So that's where it goes. You touched on the on the next thing I wanted to talk about, which was was what do you think you need to evolve on? And you said kind of about being more open. 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I feel like that, I mean, that come that comes and goes because you, you feel how you feel at certain points in time. So you can't be open all the time if you if you kind of feel like you're, it's time for you to relax. Yeah. It's time for you to, to chill because you feel like you've been doing too much. But at the same time, I feel like when, when you're open, it's, it's, people tend to overshare when people seem to be open. Mm. It's like you tell things that shouldn't be told. Yeah. Although although it's 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 healthy, I can you can say, but like for me, open is recording myself talking to me, so I can look at it and say, okay, I was telling myself the truth, or I was telling myself X, Y, and Z. I I deleted over 120 voice voice uh memos the other day because I was like, okay, that was me. I know who I was, so it's no it's no longer a use for for, for those the audio. For me. Now it's a new chapter. It's time for me to, to, to become who I'm supposed to be now. Mm-hmm. But I feel like I have to evolve on in a lot of things. But first and foremost, I have to evolve as a better black Muslim man, for sure. Yep. Because that's square one. I feel like it's still weird around family and people that knew who I was before I chose to be that. Yeah. So it's just it's, it's me being okay with me around everybody me not talking because I feel like the, the, it's not about me me not wanting to talk it's just me choosing not to yeah. because if, I, if I'm making the effort all the time not to talk about it so it's therefore me I'm holding it back instead of instead of just moving how I move yeah because you you know how I move on the, on the, on the me and you level because we it's no boundaries it's just I'm me unapologetically you're you unapologetically and that's that but what what, what I mean let's let's try to list more than one thing because it's uh, we have a lot of stuff so, to improve on in life. I mean that that's one thing that's most definitely up to me and right. being being Muslim in general right I, there's a lot of things I must continue to grow on which one thing that I'm working on now is are, are my prayers right and and learning them by by heart to where I understand Allah knows is the intent. So right. he, when I use my phone to look at the the words and you know the the, the posture, what how I'm supposed to go and, right. and how how far I'm supposed to bow down, how how my feet supposed to be, uh, what hand supposed to be on top of the other, all those things. I, he understands my intent, so it's good. But I want to become better and right. memorizing them, so now I can really do it. That's first thought. That's a big thing to me. Next thing I want to evolve in is my own confidence. I'm confident now, but. Right. There's most definitely things that I know that I have to deal with on the inside where right. becoming more confident just in general, the way I walk, the way I speak, the way I talk, you know, knowing what I'm about to do is right. right. And knowing what I'm about to do, I'm about to do it to the best of my capability. Because I've done it this year. If I'm being completely honest, I I, get, I gave up on a class because I said, ah, oh, man, I'm not good at it. Right. Oh, well, I'll take it back. I'll take it again next year if I'm being completely honest. So, right. Yeah, I gave up because of, because of that because I said, oh man, it's not me, you know. But I wasn't confident. It was it was difficult. I knew I had to my whole life when I was in school. A lot of things were natural. I was right. weak. I'm good at math. There's nothing else to do. I'm good at English. I'm cool at history. Like all that stuff. Then it was no real need for me to study or try to go OD with it. Right. But when it came to science, I, I struggled at it. That was something that I, it was tough. So I naturally just gave up. I said, like, oh, okay, well I guess I'm, I'm not good at it. Right. That's another thing I gotta work on. A lot of things. My health. I I was man, I was on it. I was on it for the two months, two, three months straight. Shout right. out to my personal trainer James. He he most definitely gave me right with the um with the workout program and I was going crazy with it, but then once I came back I kinda relapsed and I said, Alright, cool. Right. I mean, it's it's okay. My body is naturally strong and I have genetics that help me out, which I do, but no, it's definitely it's you know, it's it's really not only is it keeping it going, it's it's not starting. Because starting is difficult. Don't get it twisted. Right. But it's continuing that. Starting is the hardest part. That's definitely the hardest part. Because for me, I, when I... Because it was a point in time when in my teenage... Like when I was anywhere from four, like 14 to 16, I took my body super serious. I probably had like 5% body fat. And I'm abs. You feel me? I, I had the whole thing. I wasn't muscular though. I was skinny, but I, I had yeah, everything bonus. that I needed. You feel me? But... uh. Now it's just like it's hard for me to want to work out on everything. Like yeah. I'll hit abs strong and do nothing else. But then I'll do push-ups, a lot of push-ups and nothing else. 
And it's just, it's, it's, for me, health is big because you, you kind of need your body for everything. It's not hmm. anything what? you can, can you, do without your body. Because I, I see with my, with my family members that I do have what happens when their body gets to, what's it called, deteriorate. Right. And I'm like, man, bro. You know, and out of love, you know, I don't, I don't look down upon them. I say, ah, oh, man, look at this. No, yeah. but I'll, I help them and everything. But I do tell myself, I don't want my body to get like that. Right. I want to be seventy and still moving like this. You know, obviously it's a, it's a big. I got to put a lot of work in for me to still get through to do not disturb. Ooh, tornado so. warning, guys in Texas. You know, this is recording with every day. Y'all got the tornado. <laughs> 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 the warning for that tornado, man. Hey, what? But I see it, right? And I'm like, I don't wanna I don't want that to tear, so I use it as motivation. It's not looking down upon people. That's really where it came to. Right. I used to think I I got back into it. I used to think that me saying I don't wanna be like you right. was disowning you or, or talking down upon you. And I felt bad about myself. Yeah. Because I was questioning my own intent. I said, Am I am I technically am I talking about you? Am I saying right. I don't wanna be you? Am I saying you're a bad person? You know, so I was dealing with that. But now I understand that I'm just using it as motivation. Right. I, I know the, the goods and bads are, to me, I know what my good, what my bad, what my right, what my wrong. Right. So I look at it, I'm like, I don't want to do that. I want that a part of my life, so I'm going to change it. Right. So if I see somebody that has a, a brutal body, I'm like, okay, what do they do in their life? Okay, right. I'm not going to do that. You feel me? I don't, one of the things I don't know, I don't drink. Like, right. Like, because I done seen what drinking has done to my family. Right. So likewise. You feel me? So I, that's something I just have to I understand the good, the bad. Yep. I, I mean we're we're part of the same family, so <laughs> no need for any of you to say likewise. Yeah, duh. But another I f cause I wanna be a husband before the end of this year. Like I honestly want to because I feel like that's a that's an accomplishment in life. To say that you actually committed to somebody for long term. You actually you're choosing to be with somebody long term because there's a lot of people in our generation that can't see that. Yeah, they just want to be. That's a, that's a whole nother topic yeah, for what. Yeah, the, we ain't gonna get into it too man, deep. But, yeah, but yeah, because I, I know as with being a husband, as I've seen, you have to compromise a lot, and I feel like my whole life I've been selfish, put my needs first, and the, the little times where I do put somebody else's needs first, it feels good. Yeah. Like it honestly and it truthfully feels good. So I don't, I don't know what. Maybe I'm looking for something, like some kind of validation with becoming a husband or some validation I need to prove to myself or a challenge or something. But I just feel like that's, that's that's a, that's something that I definitely need to evolve in because as being a boyfriend, you don't feel the same. Like you, you can walk away anytime. Yeah. Being a husband, you can't just walk away. Yeah. You, it's, it's 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 more than just okay. I'm choosing to be with you for the time being. Yeah. I mean, I you you use the the, the label of boyfriend or husband. Right. That's a that's something else that in society we we put a lot of emphasis on. We put a lot of emphasis on these on these labels. Right. Trying to say that this is what a girlfriend should do. I mean, as you know, my my would, would be. Right. It was it was a label. Once I once I got the label of we're we're together, boyfriend girlfriend. I thought it was a green light for me to right. tell you everything and. It, it, it didn't happen like that. So, I, I asked you, uh, I pose this question to you and for everybody else. Is like, what do you, what do y'all believe, and what do you believe? Do well. First, I be believing the labels in in a sense, and then if, and then after that, if you do or don't believe in the labels, then what's the reason behind it, and and what are, what do the labels mean to you? I feel like that. So that'll be the two questions. What do labels mean to you, and do you believe in? Them? Labels, uh, of course, I believe in labels. Without labels, we wouldn't be, we wouldn't call ourselves humans. We wouldn't call ourselves men, women. You know, so uh, labels are definitely real. It just it depends on what you you put into the labels. Because as a, as a man, my label as a man is the same as everybody else's. Yeah. My my man or, or my definition of man is is not what you what you would say. Like some people say, paying bills makes you a man. A, a child can pay bills. That doesn't make him a man. I was paying my phone bill in high school. I wasn't a man yet. I was still learning how to become a man. But for me, labels are, they what distinguish, they are what distinguish um, the truth from the fake. Because hmm. you can't, I can't walk around saying I'm a woman 
or I can't walk around and say I'm I'm X, Y, and Z when clearly that label doesn't apply to me. Yeah. I can't say I'm Asian and walk around and I look like the next black man. That just it doesn't work. That label does not apply. I can't say I'm 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 a superhero and I walk around as a common man. I may be a superhero to, to a person, but I'm not what you would label a superhero as. I'm not a, a I don't wear a cape. That's what people like <laughs> super, I don't wear a costume, you know. I don't do I don't wear superhero clothing. I'm a I'm, I'm just a simply a man that is trying to learn learn life and learn me. It's not, it's not. I don't. I, oh, this is kind of. It's it's a this is a compound question because labels are. The labels are a lot of things. I can't even describe everything what a label is, but yeah. uh, it's, it's just for me. It's just simply the the real from the fake. That's yeah. simply what a label is. Most definitely. What about what about you? When the. Going back to the Missouri thing, Missouri taught me one of these things. I, I took philosophy class right. there, and in philosophy, I, I really understood the meaning of words. Right. Where our words in in philosophy, for those of you that don't know, in philosophy, you have to be real technical, like right. actually technical with your words, because if you don't, then that's what people will attack when they're debating. They're attacking your technicality. Oh, definitely. So if I was to say I'm talking about a computer, I would have to be technical mm-hmm. of what a computer is. And, and what do we define a yeah. computer? And if I don't, if I don't take that time to define it, then that now that is a flaw, and people will attack it. So we point at that point because I took speech and debate class in high school, like my freshman year. And when 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 you you can say you can use R in a in a wrong point of point of uh, point of the sentence, and all of a sudden that's just the whole topic for the next two minutes of the debate. Is okay for are you sure that what you said was true? Because when you stated this word, it was actually supposed to be that it's just like man, okay. Man, so I learned the the mean I go back to saying I learned the meaning of words where right. the the labels it don't mean for everything else. That so it's kind of crazy how we both understood that portion, but in two different ways. We right. we got to the we got to the same conclusion. That's why I, I don't have full belief into the school system where they try to make it seem like they only sure. have one sure. one correct answer when there's multiple correct answers in it when you go into life. Right. Just how you found out the answer of what a label is and what you define a label and how we do it. I found it out in philosophy right. where it was like, I may see a chair that we're, we're sitting on the chair right now. Right. We have this as a label because it's sufficient for us. It, right. It's convenient for us. We need it. But to a bird, to a dog, to anybody else, this is just an object. Right. That is the most basic of a label. It's an object. It doesn't mean it's a chair. Mm-hmm. And, you know, the ground could be a, a, a bird's chair. A uh, right. nest could be a bird's chair. Like, That's so, a dog's chair. Is it now, you if, know? So it's, it's the way we use it and what we truly mean by it. Like, it's simply our, our body's chair is the ground. Hmm. And we sit our butts on a, on a, on a, a thing with four legs, but the, the, the flat surface that we stand on is, is also a chair. So, and... So with labels, going back to your original question, I, I believe labels are going piggyback. I agree with everything. I right. try to do. I, uh, I'm not about to sit here and make this a longer segment than it needs to be. I agree right. with the thing that you said. The only thing would just be the way we use it right. and the technicality of it. Because if you're telling me this is what makes, uh, this is the difference between a boyfriend and a husband, and you're telling me in it, and I'm looking at it, and these are the same qualities. Right. Where's the difference at now? Now, right. I'm, now I'm attacking it because now you're you just gave me the same list of both of them. Right. So where is the difference? Where where is boyfriend? Where is husband? You know, because I, I was in that debate. One of my issues, my previous one was I thought I was I guess I was trying to be a husband and not a boyfriend. Right. Because I was, it was one of the things we got into a debate or argument about was whose house was going over for Christmas. Right. Uh, I spent Thanksgiving with y'all. You got to come spend Christmas with me. Oh God, we, we live five minutes away. Right. What's what's going to happen? Come, we, we can come to both. Come on. <laughs> well, no, it's what, not a... what, 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 what are we talking about here? Right. Like so, looking back at it, it's crazy. I'm like, yeah, that was so simple. Like there was no need for that. That was unnecessary. Right. But it was needed. So, I mean, that's just how I view the label, and you have to be real technical about it. You have to be right with your words. And but I feel like as black men. Right, black people in general. Right. We have to cross our T's and dot our I's. If we don't, then it's going gonna, it's gonna to be tough. What you said about the school system, but I strongly agree that we should, or I strongly believe that we should create our own schools for our own kids. Mm-hmm. Because no one can teach 
black kid, how to be a black kid besides a black person. So it's just because, and it's, I don't want to make it a race, a racism thing because it's not a racism thing, but we're, we're different groups of people that just happen to be human beings. We can't teach a a white boy how to be a, a, a white man. We can't teach a white girl how to be a white woman. So it's like, why do we, why do we try to integrate? We don't have to integrate everything. We come together as people for sure. But when we're learning who we are, we're supposed to learn who we are from our people. And it's, it's, it's crazy that the label, like people use labels loosely now. Like people will call themselves cats and dogs because that's honestly how they feel. And I've seen it before. Cause like I'm a dog. It's like, well, do you walk on four legs? Do you, do you, do you do things that dogs do? Do you go pee outside in the grass or do you use a toilet like I do? Cause I'm not a dog and I use a toilet, but you're a dog and you use a toilet. What kind of logic does that make? You go to school and sit in the same desk as, as I do. <laughs> so I don't see a dog in here. Uh, it, it's most definitely something. When you sit there, and I think if, if people haven't noticed it now, I mean, I'll come out and say it now because I, I don't leave nothing to interpretation. I want to be truthful. Right. This is something that we we speak. How you just said earlier, you're yourself unapologetically, and I'm myself unapologetically. Right. And with this podcast, with this segment, with everything we do, it's the truth, the our truth. Right, we're going to continue to be us, and unapologetically. So, so if, if what, I, I want to say that because I feel like now it's like, ah, oh, man, here we go. Right. I, I attack it. I'm like, man, look, I don't believe. I, I don't. mean, it is. I don't, I, like, you know, I don't care. I, mean, I, don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't, I barely, like, I'm not, not to sound disrespectful or, or defiant or anything, but I don't care half the time what my mom thinks because I know that my mom can't live my life for me. Mom is, is my mom. She always has my best interests. I always have her best interests, but we don't live each other's lives. Yeah. And, and I had to evolve in that mindset as well. Is, is I can't look for my mom's approval as a man now. As a boy, I was supposed to because my mom was 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 my rock. She was my everything. But now as a man, I have a I have a, a girlfriend that I want to be, want to be a wife. I have a daughter that looks for me for approval. And, and it's like, how do I look? I have to look in the mirror every day and, 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 and realize like, okay, boom, I have two women in this house that look to me as, 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 as a, a superhero, even though I'm, I don't consider myself one, but they, I, like, like I told you, I, I wake up before them. I go to sleep after them every day. It's not a day that I don't. And it's simply because I know that every, every minute, every hour, every second of the day, they look to me for, for, for something. And, and every minute, every hour, every every second, I'm asleep or I'm not there or I'm not attentive. It's, it's, it's a quality that, that I feel like they, or I feel like that I'm missing out on, on validating them. Because for me as a man, I feel like, for me as a man, I feel like that we we have the power to, to elevate women. Women also have the power to elevate us, but I can only speak from my point of view because I'm a man. Yeah. So for me, it's Jeez, this is I'm, I'm gonna say that, man. I'm gonna say that because I was gonna go off on a tangent, but, but yeah, <laughs> I, had to, I definitely had to evolve as as a man, oh, man to 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 school, not man. yeah, you know, to to not uh not look for my mom's validation, but it's not it's not me being disrespectful to a group of people or. Or me, me, me saying f you to a group of people because it's not. It's just I see things how I see them, yeah. and I do need to evolve as 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 a person to be open minded, because I still I I tend to not want to hear something that I don't agree with instead of listening to it and saying okay, although I don't agree, I can understand. Yeah. Instead of saying I don't understand because I don't agree. You remember when I mean I still say it now probably not as often, but I always right. say I understand, but I don't comprehend. Right. When I use that because I feel like that's the best way for me to express what you're to to express to you that I that I'm listening. Like I may understand you, but I probably won't comprehend what you're right. doing. Like I may, and it sounds good. Like I said, I may understand a killer. I may understand why he killed. Right. But I can't comprehend why he killed. Right. Like the reason. Or what would we say? Um, just because it's valid doesn't mean it's justified. Right. And it goes hand in hand where 
I can sit. I can, like if you really say, yeah, I feel like we all can understand each other. Right. We may not be able to comprehend it to the full extent. Like white person probably won't be able to comprehend. A white man or a white woman won't be able to comprehend how it feels to be a black man or a black woman. Right. But they can understand it. Most definitely. They can understand the pain that we're going through. So when we do that, you finally you finally get to I don't want to use the word understand again because I feel like that's gonna confuse people, but people then get to gain a knowledge and perspective like, okay, boom, I know I I can't I would never be that like even when a white person get pulled over, a black person get pulled over, it's two different types. I've been put over for. Right, me too. And a bunch of times. And it was and it was crazy. Where I'm like, I thought to myself, but like before I got put off, thought to myself, I was like, what if I was a white man? Right. What if I got put over? Cause I'm driving regular, regular guy. Cop pull up beside me, look inside, see that I'm black, get behind me, turn the light on. Right. But but it was the cop was behind me for for a cool five, five three to five minutes. He was right. behind me, just standing there. So I'm like, what's going on? You know, so I'm already, because you, you whooped out real fast. So now I'm like, all right, and you just standing behind me. Right. I, I, I honestly thought about pulling over, you know, and letting, and, him, go. And letting him go. Definitely. Because I'm like, because now you just here. Yeah. So, you know, and those, and those thoughts went through my head. Like, what if I did would just pull over? Like, well, bro, just kept going. Right. You know, I even thought, man, because he went to the other side and he, I, I, had, I had, I just ate some slim chicken. Right. Had, had the cup. I'm thinking he about to assume that this is something else. And yeah. I'm like, man, this, this is a bad look. You know, I just came back. You feel me? I'm all the way back to school. And I'm like, man, I didn't even, only a couple people know where I'm at. So if anything happens, I'm like, how long would this take? Yeah. You know? If, if anything goes on, I'm like, man, so, but those are thought within my head. Right. I, I don't, I don't make assumptions, so I can't say that, but from the people, what I've been told from my, my white friends and everything else, they didn't have that. They didn't right. feel like that. They honestly got the ticket or they did it. They, sir, proof. Okay. But see, the thing with our people is we tend to, to not understand that white people get killed by the police too white people get shot by the police as well it's just it's not as because to us we we prioritize prioritize our people first and we don't see a white man getting killed because it's not as frequent or maybe it is as frequent we just don't know i have never studied it but i'm pretty sure there's a, a lot of cases where white people get killed and shot by the police but it's just we see it as white on white just like in the hood when black on black crime happen it's not as as as, uh, as media don't really good. Yeah, media yeah. don't just press that out. It's not as out there as, as as black on white or white on black. It just it goes that right that the media aspect of it of right. pushing stuff out. It goes back to the Pugisi tapes. Right. And for y'all don't know, I don't involve watching that. I really don't. I'm not crazy. I don't. <laughs> I don't involve watching that just yeah. because it's it's wild. But with Pugisi tape, when when that happened. The dude's dad, you remember when they said, you know, his dad was innocent. Right. But the same time, that would have been a big news for during that same time, 9 11 happened. Right. So the media was pushing 9 11, and, and the dude's dad that was proven innocent right. was on page six. Right. So it, it just shows like the media is going to push what it wants to. Right. So go back to your point. Well, it may be, you know, somewhere out there, maybe, you know, it's probably that white white people are getting killed more about cops than black people are. But by the way the media is pushing it, you wouldn't believe it. For sure. So it's it's crazy when you when you really think about the the whole system and who runs what and that's a whole nother topic, but that's something else I learned in Missouri. It's it's a it's a pyramid scheme for right. real. For sure, for sure, for sure. I mean that's that's just knowledge with being around people that are that have been here for a long time. Cause I, I firmly believe that us as younger people should be around older people. Like my whole life, I've been around older people. I've been called an old soul. Likewise, <laughs> I know all the old songs, and they consider me an old soul. But it's not that. It's just that there is a lot of knowledge and wisdom with with old people because they they've been here longer than we have. They they understand what's going on, and, uh, and we also understand things that they don't understand. Hmm. Technology wise, uh, just the way way we think, because we're to to them, we're we're the new. The new, wait, what, are, what am I trying to say? Generation? Nah, we're the new population. Uh, we're, we're what controls everything now. It's, it's our age group and maybe just a little bit older, but we're we're the world now. Yeah. So, I saw it somewhere. I forgot where I saw it on. I think it was 
I see it. I don't know where I saw it from, but it said, it's crazy to think that we're the new adults. Right. Which is real. I'm 21, you're 22. Like, we're the new adults. It's crazy <laughs> that we're, we're only that young, but I feel so old. Man. <laughs> I feel so old. Well, I like them pit. I like them pissed me years in our soul. And it said, all right, we're going to throw this at you, throw that at you. But I mean, I need it. I most definitely say it because I do feel like I have a gift. Right. The main reason for this podcast, I, I feel like I had a gift to and, and to portray and, and, and to give people a, a platform. Right. And I, I, I guess I can only speak for me, but I, I can say that you agree with some, with some of the things where it's like, this is something that we give a voice to people that don't, that feel like they don't have one. Right. Because everybody have a voice. I'm not going to say you don't have a voice. Everybody do. You have a voice to, you know, you have the right to express how you feel and the way you feel and your, the way you feel is valid. You don't right. have to try to say how I know it. It's your valid for the way you feel. It's how you feel. But we give a voice to those people that, that feel like they don't have a voice. We give purpose to some people. When I, when I first had a podcast and I had a dude, remember I told you he hit me up every, you know, hit me up on a day-to-day basis, right. keeping me up to date with his life. So I pushed him and, and he he's happy. And I'm like, you know, and that's something that's so crazy because I didn't think about it. I'm just talking. <laughs> like, really, I'm just talking. I'm, fun. I'm talking to somebody. That I, I do this on a day-to-day basis without right. without being recorded. So for me to be praised, it, that's where that's where the weirdness came from. For me, right. how I felt where I was like, dang, you ain't gotta, you ain't gotta say thank you. This is what I do for sure. You know, and now if I sat here and, and I jacked up your car and changed your engine, yeah, thank you because I I ain't never do that. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But this is something that I do on a regular basis. So don't thank me for it. This is who I am. I I know what I'm I built to do. So I I was thinking, how do I serve my purpose? Right. But that's a that's a whole nother thing, you know, we could talk about, you Finding know. Finding your purpose, for sure. Because that's just something that I feel like people ask me before, and I don't, now that I'm thinking, looking back at it, I thought like I could have gave them more, a better right. advice. You know, the more, the knowledge that I have now, the people that I did give that advice to, I feel like I can revamp it. And, right. And give them a, a, something else. But finding your purpose is, is something else that I, I, I have done in those two months. I found it before, but really understanding my purpose and how can I push that out there? Right. Those too much off social media also helped me with that. What do you, uh, so to this point so far, I know we just started the year, but what's your, what's your word so far this year? You know, we talked about certain things we was going to, so what do you, what, do, what, do, what would you say your word is so far in your life? It could be anything. It don't have to be nothing big. It's just something Man, simple. My, my word really is evolving. Right. Evolve. Because evolve, evolving, evolution, however you want to say it. Mm-hmm. Because now I'm in that process of of reaching it. I always feel like how I, could, how I compared it or how I thought about it was that hump. Right. I was just like just one more, one more push, and I'm there. Right. Like I feel like one more push, and everything else is gonna just snap. Right. You know, and that's the way I think about. It. I feel like if I get over this hump. What a, I don't know what the hump is. I don't know if I have to, you know, reach a, a certain amount of people. I don't know if I have to get hit my lowest point myself. I don't know what it is that I have to do. Right. But I do know there's a hump. And when, as soon as I get over it, everything else is smooth. Right. So I guess I'll change my word. I don't want to say evolve. I want to say hump. Right. Because that's what I'm trying to get over. That That's my word. Sheesh, I'm, 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 I'm still on accountability. I feel like that goes hand in hand with anything mm-hmm. ever. You got to be accountable to, to evolve. You got to hold yourself accountable. I hear a lot of people use the word accountability, but they don't truly hold themselves accountable and they don't hold others accountable. Mm-hmm. Like we're, we're mm-hmm. Technically, we're holding each other accountable to continue this. Facts. Facts. I, it's too many times. Too many times. I can yeah, I, I had to hold my, I didn't hold myself accountable and I didn't hold other people accountable and that's where things fell off at. Right. But obviously it happened for a reason because we're here now. So Accountability is more than just doing something you say you were going to do. It's following through after that. The act after you you, you hold yourself to, to that certain standard. Because I can, I can say I'm going to work out and work out Wednesday, but Thursday come and it's just like I'm not working out for the next week. I'm not holding myself accountable at that point. I mean, you say I work out once a week and it's like a Superman. You know, it, it don't work. You don't find results in working out <laughs> He said, ah, man, I, I didn't hit the gym. I, I was like that. That was a crazy part. For real? What matter? 
hit, hit me 20 push up, 20 abs. Mm. Oh, 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 I see. Oh, I said, you see the cut? All right, man. <laughs> you see the cut? Oh, man, I'm over here. What? Yeah. <laughs> Picking up everything, throwing them. I thought I was, yeah, I thought I was big dog. Man. It's crazy. Is I'm starting to realize that we could have we could have wrote all of this all of this on paper, and it would have it would have been like a, a a story, like just a story of, of us, like a diary kind of sort. Every day, if we were to write mm. and, and write how we felt, it would be almost the same thing as to, to what we're what we're saying. Mm. Yeah, I, that's one thing. Another thing, and going back to y'all, where uh, tell us when you're. When you feel comfortable, I say that. Right. Just tell your, speak your story. Like, if not to us, to yourself. And really look at yourself. Because that's where it started. When you look in the man in the mirror, you know, RPMJ, because that man, he, when he, when he said that, yes, sir. He, he really spoke. But look at yourself and talk and understand yourself. This is not nothing else for nobody else to understand. Right. You, you don't have to, whatever you say in that mirror, whatever you say in that phone, or whatever you do, nobody else has to see it. Nobody has to hear about it. You don't have to tell nobody else about it. But you have to be honest with yourself. Because if you're not honest with yourself, then you're not going to be honest with nobody else. Right. Like, if, if I can't look at myself and tell myself what are my flaws and what I, what I did right, what I did wrong, and right. where can I improve, I would never be enough for anybody. Right. So talk to yourself. Understand yourself. Take time. Now. I'm not saying you... When I first started, no cap, it was the... Headspace app, I think you sent me. Most definitely. I, I downloaded that app. Meditation is key. And they told me, they said, how long you want to go? Looked at it. Five minutes? One minute. Wow. One? <laughs> 60 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> what a guy, man. Yeah, hey, I gave myself one minute yeah. to, to sit there with my thoughts. Then I said, dang, this ain't do nothing. Right. Kept going one minute. Then I said, you know what? Cool, let me do five minutes then. Yeah. Uh, Next thing I know, I'm going for 30 minutes an hour. You know, I, I don't, don't, I, I know I just said it so smooth. That was not like that. It took, right. to, it definitely took months to get to that point. But I had to start with myself. I had to start small. So I say that, take a minute of your, right. of your day, whatever, how much time you can give away for yourself, do that. Sit there, get off social, you know, put your phone, do not disturb, or wherever the case may be. You know, Apple got a new update. They say you can put your phone do not disturb until you leave that location. Right. So if you don't leave that location, big dog. Man, nature, man, nature is so beautiful. I mean, you hear, you hear that rain. Remember when we sun gazed and everything was green? Or no, is that true? Every, yeah, everything was bright. We went to the lake and we and we was out. We walked real far, got to the lake. Yeah. Both both went to our separate side and just looked, and then came back. Yeah, it was beautiful. Y'all know what sun gazing? Look it up. But it's some. Um, I do that now. Like, now. I don't know what being in nature means. Just just go out. Just go outside for five minutes, please. Mm-hmm. You're doing yourself a, a disservice and staying inside. All day. You feel me? How you think I got so black? Sheesh. I wish, man, listen. <laughs> I, was, I was dark once upon a time, man. Back, way back when? Back, back yeah. in 05? Shit. Something like that. Something uh, like that. I, something I, like I respect, that. I respect that. I respect it. Are we, are we, are we, are we good? Yeah, we're, man, we're more than good. You know what I'm saying? We're great. Amazing. Yes, sir. Kicking it. Well, going back at it again, though, follows on everything. I, you know what I'm saying? We got the Twitter, the, the IG. The IG is BTE underscore movement. That's where everything goes. Twitter, Instagram, uh, S- Snap is it in effect? Snap is most definitely in effect. You know, Snap. You, oh, if you if, if you don't have the if we don't have the Snap, follow me on the Snap, and I got you. It's um, uh, it's, it's Nike All Pro Twenty One for the Snap. Nike All Pro Twenty One. If y'all didn't hear, but we got the Facebook, the guy, and the uh, the um. TikToks, the, the Reddits, don't don't forget, man. We any anything is live. If you wanna if you wanna talk, man, if you wanna have conversation, man, we're we're good conversation uh, conversationalists, man. Yeah, y'all can sit and talk to us about anything. We man, when I tell you this is not some I can vouch. Like with a lot of people I talk to, I can vouch, but with you, I'm like I'm you know what I'm saying, I, I bet my it wouldn't say bet my life, I'm a die shaker, I bet my life and bet Yeah, man, I bet my I could bet my life that you know, you talk to any one of us, you know, it's going to be open. We're not going to judge you. We're going to tell you the truth, though. Like, it's going to, it's all it is. It's going to be real with you and going to keep pushing. However you take it, how you take it. I mean, nothing else. 
Oh, uh, you see? Ooh, power to cut off and everything. We too powerful, man. <laughs> the lightning went inside of us, you know? Hey. <laughs> but listen, man, plug your social, your socials, man. Shameless plug, man. Yeah, fact. Uh, BT, Twitter, BTE Movement. Got you on that, right? Again, BTE Movement on the Twitter. Go ahead and find it. We're starting to move and starting to wave. IG is BTE underscore movement. You know, they, they, they try to trick us. We try to get the movement. They didn't want to do it. It's cool. It's all good. So we got the underscore for that one. Uh, we did it. My personal IG is Broad Snaps. B R O A D S N A with two X's. You got my snap and you got my Twitter. Um, so, I mean, I'm on Instagram at Slurge. S L 3 U's. U U U R G E. Um, what else am I on? I don't really be I, to, to be honest, yeah, he, guys. He, I don't be on social. I'm a I'm a, I'm a person that likes real life. I like to be and, and view things as they are. Yeah. But uh, if you if you get into me, you'll you'll get you'll get into him at most the same definitely. Time. Most so, definitely. I um, mean, you ain't got to try to follow him that much. Cause, yeah. Don't forget Clubhouse. Uh, yeah. Clubhouse is necessary. We're gonna try to have at least like a. I'm pushing it, but. At least three times a week for like 20 minutes, we should be able to get on there and, and just, have a discussion about anything. It. Yeah. We'll plug. So all the stuff, if y'all, if y'all not quick enough, y'all lazy, we'll make sure everything's in the bio for y'all. Y'all copy and paste it. We're trying to make it simple for y'all so y'all don't have an excuse. Cause, right. You know, people that hit me with the, ah, man, the link ain't work. Ah. And I, I'll try to edit it and put it on the screen for me so y'all can, y'all can see it. Because I know a lot of people are vision. Visualist, yeah. you need to see a picture with words. Yeah. If not, you click the link. You know, you, I'm pretty sure you can read because you read the the the, the uh the, caption the, the title. Story. Yeah. And then clicked on the video. Uh, yeah, man. So we we all the excuses y'all trying to come up with, we're, we're eliminating them. It's not working, man. Yeah. I see right through you. <laughs> we're eliminating all the excuses y'all got. We got all the socials out the way. We done got the shameless plug, the club, how everything that you need to get in contact with us will be in the bio somehow for you to get us. Last thing is what I was gonna say. What was I gonna say? Oh, be yourself. Be yourself. You are unique. Yeah, I'm telling you, everybody, you offer something different to this world. The next person don't have what you offer. That is the truth. I'm not saying this to to be funny, to just be nice. No, I'm being for real. Every person in this world offers something totally different. And if, if you feel like you don't offer anything, you got to realize that you, your, your impact starts with the people you see every day. Mm. If you don't realize you're making an impact, just watch what they do in their, their, their movements and how they act. You, you'll see yourself in them. You will. Most definitely. I see myself in him and, and I know he sees, I, I can say I took some of his, his characteristics and put it towards myself and my own person. So again, be yourself. You are unique. You are amazing. Checkmate. I'm checking out, man. Yup. Snacks out. <laughs>